In this video, I will show you how to use bit.ai. So I'll go over every single one of their features and I'll show you exactly how you can get started with bit.ai completely for free. So they claim that they are the world's most powerful document and wiki collaboration platform and it is AI powered. So here are some of their features that I will also go over. You have documents and notes, and then you have a wiki and knowledge base, an AI writing assistant, document tracking, you have a website embed so that you can add bit.ai to your website website, you have client portals and data rooms. And I'll show you exactly how you can use this tool. So first, of course, you will need to open up the bit.ai website and I'll leave a link down in the description that will take you to this page right here. And from here, simply go and click on get started for free. Now, in order to create your account, simply go and enter your email address right here. And now you will need to verify your email address by entering the six digit code that has been sent to your email. Now, in order to create your profile, you need to enter some personal details. So your password, first and last name, your job title and your department. So for the department, you have a bunch of options here, such as consultant, marketing, student or education. But if it's not in here, you can click other. Now for this example, I will select marketing. So then go ahead and click on proceed. Now you want to go and set up your organization. So in order to do this, enter your organization name, a subdomain. So this is the domain that you and your team members will be able to access bit.ai through, then your industry and organization size. So then click on create account. Now here in order to go in and create your first workspace, you want to give it a name and then you can also choose a color for this workspace. So for example, marketing team, project X, personal or anything else. So whatever you want to use bit.ai for, you can create that workspace right here. And then as you can see right here under this workspace, you can have different types of documents that you can collaborate on. So for example, I will name this one marketing. So then let's click create workspace. So now we have created our first workspace. Now next up, we are going to add collaborators. So to do this, click let's go right here. And then here you can click plus in the top right. And now simply search to add users. And now simply go ahead and click invite new user in the bottom right right here. And you can do this by entering their email address and then their name, which is optional. And then you can invite them to these workspaces. So I only have the marketing one. So therefore I do recommend to first set up all your workspaces that you want. So for example, for your marketing department, HR department, etc., and then inviting your team members so that you can instantly add them to those workspaces. So if you want to invite multiple users at once, you can click add another right there. And I'll just invite one person. So simply go and enter their details and then click send invitations and then they will receive an email with an invitation link. So this is what that email looks like for them. So they will see your company name, who has invited them, etc. So now they can click accept invitation and now they will need to create an account and they will be taken to the dashboard right here. Now next up, we are going to create documents inside of our workspace. So we have four different sections here, documents, assets, insights and settings. Now I'm going to start with the documents right here and click create new. Now they have templates that you can use, but you can also import or create a blank document. Now I'll show you their templates. So right here you have a bunch of templates. For example, a scope of work template, a project management plan, a project proposal, a roadmap, and you can also search for templates or filter by a category. So this workspace is about marketing. So I'll select marketing right here. Now, for example, if I want to do a product launch marketing, then I'll select this template right here. And now I can simply go and click use template in the bottom right. And now we will see this template right here. So now we can actually go ahead and edit this template. Now the thing that bit.ai is for is that you don't need to edit this all by yourself. Because once you have invited your team members and you've added them to this specific workspace, they will also get access to the documents here and everyone can just edit it inside of this one place. So in order to edit it, it's really simple. You can just type whatever you want here. And if you want more blocks, so as you can see this right here is a block, you can insert a block above and then you can start typing whatever you want or you can click on plus and then you can add one of these things right here. You can use their AI, you can use an integration, you can add a table. So it's really simple. Just add in whatever you want right here. You also have a signature feature so that you can just enter your signature right here and then it will show the signature. Now if you want to remove a part, just click on the three dots and click delete and here you can just really easily do this with your entire team now if you want to share this document you can click share in the top right and then get a shareable link so for this you need to turn on sharing and then it will be turned on and you have this link right here and then you can share this with whoever you want now next up you have the asset section right here so in order to upload assets
assets you can just click upload right here and then you can upload from your device on splash or from one of these options for example if i select youtube and let's say i want to upload this right here you can of course also enter your own link but then click insert you will now see this as one of your assets and everyone will get access to this asset then in insights you can see who has been working on what and you can see the amount of documents created the amount of users and guests and the most important part here is the recent activity. So you can see exactly which of your team members has been working on what document, has been viewing what asset, has been creating documents, etc. Then in settings, you can just choose your workspace assets. So for example, if you want to change this little icon right here, then you can upload your own icon. For example, if I want this one right here, then now it will be changed to that. Now here you can add workspace notes. So you can tell your team members what this workspace is about and what you expect from your team members. Then here you can also add collaborators so go and click invite new users or if you already invited them but they are not yet part of this workspace you will find them right here and you can add them in so that's just one workspace but when you go to workspaces right here you can also create new workspaces so that you have a bunch of different workspaces for example for every department of your company or every project that you are working on so for example marketing is pretty broad you could also say product launch or for example Facebook ads whatever you want now here in the home screen this is your overview dashboard so currently you are on the free plan and you need to upgrade to unlock unlimited documents so you can get 10 documents for free now here you will see your recent documents the workspace activities and your favorite documents and workspaces etc now from here you can also really easily add a workspace create a document or open the template gallery where you can create faster and get inspired now right here in the document tracker is a pretty cool feature but for this you will need to have one of the paid plan but basically what this helps you do is that it helps you track your bit documents and bit wikis so basically bit.ai will just streamline the entire process of everything in your company by just doing everything inside of this one tool right here where you can simply invite all of your team members. However, if you have a pretty big company and you need quite a lot of documents, you will see that the pricing then goes from free to $8 per user per month or to $15 per user per month when you bill annually or monthly, it will be 25% more. Now you can see exactly what is included right here. So when you upgrade to the pro plan, there will be no user limit unlimited documents you will get all the integrations but this is also available in free now you also get bulk document import you get export a version history and you get the AI genius writer for 10,000 words plus an add-on and this is per month then you also get embedded documents and wikis but for the actual document tracking right here you need to upgrade to the business plan so this is very helpful because you can get the document tracking lead capture password protection and document expiration and for the guest access right here, you also need the business plan. However, for the SSO and security, you will get the two-factor authentication in each of the plans. However, for the other ones right here, you will also need the business plan. And for support, you will get email chat and a help center in any of their plans. However, if you want priority support or a customer success team, you will again need the business plan. So basically, you can use the free plan, just try it out. But 10 documents is not a lot. So basically, it's 10 documents per user, so you can get 50 documents with the five user limit but the unlimited documents is very helpful and the business plan is for when you really want to start using bit.ai and even get all of the really advanced features now you can also choose your preferences right here so these are your email notifications so basically you can turn on comments so send an email when someone add mentions me in a comment replies to my comment or comments on a thread i'm a part of you can turn on to receive an email when someone adds you to a workspace and you can even send an email when someone pings you on a doc so this is very helpful so that you know what's going on although you can also close this and just sign into your bit.ai account very frequently and see the workspace activities right here now here you also have these four parts so you have the ai powered bit 3.0 then a quick start guide an ai genius and the bit academy so the ai powered bit 3.0 is an ai tool that will help you with your documents so you can see what's included right here so basically ai powered bit 3.0 is the version that you see right here and that you are already using when you click on the link in the description so again just go and open up bit.ai i'll leave a link down in the description then create your account set up your workspaces and invite your team members and then add in the documents or import the documents you can even use their templates which 
which I think is a very helpful feature. And then upload the assets that you want in each workspace, and then you can just collaborate with your entire team inside of these documents. If this bit.ai tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.